To be Diddy, or not to be, Diddy, or to diddle with Diddy. These are the questions that are, well, they're occupying the minds of people who don't have any idea what's going on in the rest of the world, and are interested in those who are swallowed up in the soul gang bang. Yes, sir. Did you know this fella, his name is Cat Williams. I don't know if it's a K-A-T or C-A-T or what all it is, but... Uh, Evidently, allegedly, you know, I don't want to get sued again. Mr. Williams says that uh, it's, well, he alleges that Mr. P. Diddy uh, was, uh, you know, doing some tube stick tingle with some studio executives, you know, in exchange for this or that, or was strung arming some young little rappers, like, you know, mentoring them, you know, through, the, the, through their, pardon me, it was, it was them tacos. Uh, you know, you're trying to mentor them, you know, through their genes, you know, rubbing up against them and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then some of them did, some of them didn't. Some of them, well, they ran away from the truth and some of them gargled it. Yes, sir. You can choke on that story. It's not very good, but it's spicy. So I want to take this opportunity, grab the bull by the horns, and respond to some of Cat Williams' uh, allegements about... Yours truly, yes. Cat Williams said something about me. Hughes, Hughes Coxworth. And he said certain things which uh, I don't agree with. Certain things that are true, but he can't prove. <laughs> and then stuff like that. Hey, nobody's perfect, man. Shit, I thought she was 18. It's not, I never did those things. I never met her. She wasn't any good anyway. But what the heck? That's not the issue. I, I'm not involved in that. The peanut butter was only used in the sandwich. You, 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 any of you who've seen the video would know what I'm talking about. And that was just Nutella. I was just kidding around, man. I'm not into that weird stuff. That was just like a Halloween prank, man. Don't you know right from... I was just kidding around. You know, I have a few drinks, and then pretty soon it's all, you know, mocha chocolate fudge. But it's, it was just... It was, it was, it was, it was, you, come on, man. It was just pistachio with a little fudge in it. <laughs> I'm not into the kinky kind of stuff like that. Right? I don't get it. It don't make no sense to me. But, you know, hey, listen, this is America. We can all do what we want to do. You know what I mean? You could marry a bag of chocolate chip cookies and identify as a table lamp and run for president or be press secretary and have a head like a mop and, and use the word soul before you answer questions. Ask me a question and go, so... The administration was so, you could be just like that. What's her name, Cringe Pierre? I think she's terrific. I'd like to hire her because no matter what it is, she could tackle it and go, so. Anyway, so, Cat Williams, I think you're wonderful. Uh, although I'm not familiar with your comedy, I hear you're very funny. And, uh, um, and also, Mr. P. Diddy, uh, please quit calling my voicemail and making those weird panting sounds. I know that's you, man. I don't own the chipmunk. I lease him. I, 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 oh, hey, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of chipmunks, uh, there, were, there were some tourists driving, and they saw there was a monastery, and there was a fish and chip stand, and there were these two Franciscan friars there. And so uh, this uh, little kid, he asked one of them, he says, are you the fish friar? And he said, no, son, I'm the chipmunk. <laughs> Get it? You see, because... All right, I'll, I'll tell a different story. Anyway, so there was this, there were these two boats who met in the middle of New York Harbor. There were female boats. And one of them said, how's your, how's your daughter? And she said, oh, yes, my daughter, Canoe. She's very nice. Uh, her life is going great. She's engaged to an ocean liner. And the other boat said, said, well, how are you? You know, how's your family? How's your son? She says, my son, well... We don't, really, we don't really talk too much about him. I, I'm not very proud of him. She says, why? What's the matter with your son? And she, she said, well, uh, he's a little dingy. See, because these are boats, you know, that's their family. He's a little dingy. You don't like that one either. What is there it? 1950s Harvard humor warning. Hey, did you know that uh, some of the dinosaurs they found out that they, they actually they died from being picky eaters. You know, they were herbivores, uh, a lot of them. And they'd see certain herbs and they would go like, oh, no, I don't want that one. And they'd go around. They were very, very particular, the dinosaurs. And as the dinosaurs became more intelligent, they became more and more particular. They'd go, oh, no, 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 I ate that last night. No, oh, I don't want that. And they don't know they actually said these words. 
what they think would happen was as the dinosaurs became bigger, they became more intelligent, they became more picky eaters, and they died. The moral of the story is eat every damn thing your mother gives you, or you'll become a dinosaur and you'll become extinct.